Well, I haven't seen one of these in a while. An actual smile after a match day. Newcastle United 3, West Ham 0. What a stellar performance from start to finish. Absolutely stunning performance. And this is what we want to see. This is what we're capable of. I know it's a poor West Ham side, but at the same time, they're a Premier League side. We've got three points on the board, three goals scored, clean sheet. What more could you ask for? Seriously, now from start to finish, we bossed it. Absolutely bossed it. Um, I can't really see, I couldn't really see many West Ham charters, probably that double save from Elliot and that clearance off the line from Clark in the second half. But apart from that, really, really positive performance from the start. Um, standout player to me, Christian Natsu is definitely one of them. Absolute tormented them on the left hand side. Zabletta had a hell of a day um, on that left hand side. Uh, also, Mikel Marino, easy man of the match. I mean, we're coming after a poor first game. This one's definitely up to speed now with the Premier League. Absolutely picking passes, uh, just his close control, everything about him. This is what we've needed in a central midfielder for a lo the longest time now. Step aside, Jack Colback. Your successor has arrived, definitely. Uh, who else is there? Matt Ritchie, tiresome, tireless as ever, running up and down the channels, uh, providing all the work. In fact, he even got the assist as well um, for the second goal, I believe, for Kieran Clark. Yeah, that was it. And who else there? Chancellor Mbemba at the back bossed it as well. Even playing out of position, he still played well. Obviously, he won't get the plaudits as well. Hoslu got his first goal for the club. Fantastic goal taken. I mean, it's not a worldie, but in the, the day, this is what we need. Someone just there to tap it in, that fox in the box. And that's what we've got, uh, especially with Gail's absence as well. Micho coming on and still proving that he's got a part to play at the club as well. That's two in a week for him as well. And even put Joe Hart on his backside in the process as well. There's a reason why he's not number one, or England's number one, should I say. Fantastic performance overall. Really, really smiling now. I'm just overjoyed. And I can finally watch Match of the Day now with not in this position here. You know what I'm saying? Like the first two games, I was doing this or doing this. But now I can watch it and rerun it and watch it and rerun it and watch it. It's just fantastic. Fantastic to see a really good performance, a team performance overall. And that's even without the likes of Gail, Lejeune, Dummett, and still more recruits to go as well, which is positive. I know it's still... It's still papering over the cracks. Again, we've still got a long, long way to go. We've still got a lot of players to get rid of, but it's the sort of thing that we've needed. See, we've needed it for a while, you know. The the three losses in a row, uh, the whole things that's going off the field, you know, Rafa being linked to West Ham as well, the manager's job there as well. We finally needed something just to say, look, we can, we've got something to be overjoyed about, the football. And that's what we're here about. This is why... We, we rock up in our thousands every single week and watch it every single week and comment about it and talk about it. These are the moments that we enjoy. Commiserations to you guys, to West Ham. Um, again, you just wasn't at the race today, but again, it's not about you guys today. It's about us and we've got to enjoy these moments while we can because, again, I think, it, I think by the end of the season, we'll be competing against the lights of your West Ham's and other teams in and around us. So, again, overall, again, Really positive performance. Um, everyone played their part. Hayden as well, he was another one um, who played his part as well. I think he had to come off in the second half. Really good performance by him. The two at the back, uh, two centre-halves at the back, obviously Kieran Clark who got the goal. Lascelles looked solid as well. Mankio looked better going forward. Again, he still needs to work on his defensive, but again, we're not talking about negativity at all today because it's all about positives. Um, and then that's it really that's everyone covered really Elliot again no no goals conceded so again it's always a positive for that in that situation there and I don't know who else to, who else to bring up really Rafa Benitez is always getting the, the praise from the fans as always you know everyone was singing his name throughout the game um, and again man just good to have this feeling again I haven't had this feeling for a while now since obviously he was back in the championship so again back to Winning way, shall we say? <laughs> um, try not to get too ahead of ourselves, but again, yes, really, really, really enjoy that performance from from start to finish as well. So there we have it, guys. I'll have the full review out quite shortly because I've got a boxing fight to get prepared for. I'm sure you guys have heard of that one. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and listening, and I'll see you guys all soon. Keep it tuned. Peace. <laughs>